Hey, what's going on, everybody? I wanted to, you know, elaborate on a, and share a story with you all, a real story, a true story that happened this year. I think it's very much so unfortunate that it did happen, but I also believe that it needs to be to be spoken about and um, should be on a national standpoint, not just local news. Um, down in Deerfield Beach, we have here three student athletes that lost their life in two months. Same high school, Deerfield Beach High School. Uh, we have TJ, we have Alexis, and we have Bryce. Um, all kings and queens, man. I think that uh, it's so, it was tough for me to even, it was tough for me to do these, these paintings because they, they, they look just like me. Right, the two the two young fellas, they, they look they look just like me, as in you know I see me in them when I was in high school, um, both football players. Alexis was a water polo, polo swimmer, uh, or water polo player, as well as volleyball, highly educated IB student. They're both uh, sophomore in high school, senior in high school. I think she was a senior or junior as well. It's just two of them, you know, killed themselves, and TJ got shot. Uh, so these stories are very difficult for me to even really speak on as a teacher, as a coach, as a student athlete myself. I think that these are things that need to be addressed. So uh, first off, we'll start off with the first death, which was Mr. Bryce, um, Young King Bryce. He was based off the news. That's all I got from the news. And then also I've seen that his mother posted a video as well. Um, they, were, they were homeless, they were going through poverty, living in poverty, and uh, it was a struggle for them at the point in time. And um, uh, Mr. Bryce was going through some uh, mental difficulties. And uh, I guess he, he decided to take his own life. He thought that was the best route at the time. And um, he walked in front of a train and, and he killed himself. Now, within that same month, his teammate, uh, young Terrence Jackson, young King, he ended up going to his grandfather's funeral. And after, right after his grandfather's funeral, a fight had broke out after the church, after the funeral, and he ended up getting shot uh, at his grandfather's funeral, which is... is I'm not too sure why the fight why the fight broke out, but um, nine times out of ten, I'm positive the fight wasn't worth uh, killing this young brother right here, young King, Mr. TJ. And following after those two deaths within within that same month, the next month right after, uh, young Queen Alexis, she she um. She did the same thing that Mr. Bryce did and, and she walked in front of a train and killed herself as well. And Alexis was an IB student. I was reading up on her. She was actually scheduled to do a TED Talk that next month following, uh, this month I believe in March. Uh, she was a star student athlete as well. I think volleyball, water polo, and um, another sport, I believe. But it's just... Things like this is so unfortunate and hard for me to really uh, speak on because I have so much students. I have 164 students and I would will, I will be uh, distraught if any one of them took their own life and or got shot. Uh, we did have, a, at my school, we had a situation where a student uh, passed away and it was supposed, supposedly it was, it was suicide due to bullying per se, but we, we don't have the investigation or you know, the, the details based off that. But it was very much so sad for my students, my sixth graders, it was tough on them, and it really affected the whole school. And I couldn't imagine, I couldn't fathom how Deerfield Beach High School is feeling right now, how they are affected by, by this, because this recently happened, literally in February. 2020, January 2020. So um, I just want to send my prayers to the families, to the friends, and to the whole high school. I was planning to drive down these portraits 
down to the high school to, to create some type of memorial for them in the gym. Um, and I wanted to create a, a, a keep on movement, a keep on fund, a keep on scholarship, um, basically to promote the keep on playing football, keep on playing basketball, keep on swimming, keep on um, playing whatever sport it is, um, because I know it's tough, me being a student athlete, be, me being a coach, I understand what student athlete, athletes go through, they go through a lot, and mentally, uh, physically, and emotionally. So. I want to create some type of movement and some type of fund where the monies go towards whether it's mentorships for every a mentor for every student athlete on a team or a mentorship group with filled with women and men of different races and different ages to be able to connect with each uh, each student athlete on a team. You know, something that can go across the state and, and be a, a statewide initiative for these high school students and middle school students. Um, but I mean, I just want to do something that can create a change. I have no clue on how to really get in contact with any of the families, uh, family, these students, families, members, or friends. I don't know anybody in Deerfield Beach, but uh, I, I do plan to reach out to who I can. If you can share this, if you know anybody in Deerfield Beach, um, Florida, or at the high school, tag them in this video, please, and let them know that. Uh, I'm trying to not only deliver this to the school so they can they can put it up as a memorial and or deliver each one to each family so they can, they can have it for themselves. I try my best to capture the picture, capture them in these portraits from the picture that I had. I only had the pictures from that was on the news. So um, that's all I can go based off of. And um, I hope I did a okay job. But I just want to send my peace and positivity and love and prayers down there to that community, to that high school, to family and friends. And I also want at least, uh, it's unfortunate that their, that their death happened this year, uh, but at least I want something to transpire after this to where we can address the situation of mental health and address the situation of gun violence and um, help out the student athletes around the world. Um, but I think we can do that. Before we change the world, we gotta do it one community at a time. So I'm willing to help in whichever way. So much love, peace, positivity. And um, to the class of 2020, to Deerfield Beach High School, just uh, stay positive, as positive as possible. And you guys are very strong. I know that you won't be able to graduate this year due to the coronavirus, but uh, just, just keep your head up. And uh, keep pushing forward. Keep on, keep on learning. Keep on educating yourself. Keep on playing sports, and be be, be great out in this world. Uh, much love, peace, and positivity, and blessings.